So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of this diagram provided here. So I always like to take a second and just make sure I understand the visual data provided. So it looks like we have a staircase um, and we have a riser height and we have a tread, something called a tread depth, right? And then we have a total rise here. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five steps. Okay, and, the, and it does say figure not drawn to scale. That may become important. So the information provided here before the question says, when designing a stairway, an architect can use the riser tread formula. All right, so anytime a formula or equation is provided, I like to write it down. So we have 2H plus D equals 25, where H is the riser height. Okay, so just making sure I remember that. And D is the tread depth, right? So tread depth in inches for any given stairway. The riser heights are the same and the tread depths are the same for all steps in that, in that stairway. Okay, so that's important to know. The number of steps in a stairway is the number of its risers. Okay, so number steps equals number risers, which should make sense. Okay, and then for example, there are five steps in the stairway in the figure above, right? We'd already counted those out. The total rise of a stairway is the sum of the riser heights, right? So total rise equals sum of H, right? So you can even do this symbol if you know that symbol. All right, so question 17 says, which of the following expresses the riser height in terms of the tread depth? Okay, so all of this becomes not as important as a focus on the actual formula itself. So I'm going to rewrite the formula, 2H plus D equals 25. The question is asking for us to isolate H, right? It wants us to express the riser height in terms of, so anytime we see that, whatever is on the left of the in terms of is what we want to isolate in terms of, think of it as like equals, and then whatever's to the right of the in terms of is the variable that should be on the right-hand side. So I want to isolate H. So I'm gonna subtract D from both sides here. So I have 2H equals 25 minus D. And now I'm gonna divide by two, divide by two. So I have H equals 25D. 25 minus D all over 2. So that should be my answer. I look at the answer choices. I don't see that exactly. But what I do see is in choice B, it's the same. It's just written a little bit differently, right? So 25 minus D divided by 2 is the same as saying 1 half of 25 minus D, right? These two things are equivalent. Right, so even if you were to multiply it and say, well, 25 minus D over 1, right, you can see how once you multiply that, you get right to here. So it is true that H is equal to 1 half 25 minus D, choice 